The 2023 Nissan X-Trail launched in late 2022 with all variants powered by the same 2.5-liter, four-cylinder petrol engine paired to a continuously variable transmission. For seven-seat all-wheel drive models, this is the only engine available, but higher up the range a new hybrid model has recently been added. However, mainstream X-Trail buyers have the choice of five or seven seats, or front-wheel drive or all-wheel drive in the entry-level ST and one-step up STL. While its predecessor had affordability on its side, recent price hikes mean the new generation X-Trail isn't quite as budget-friendly as it once was, with increases of between $4,000 to $7,000 depending on the variant. The range kicks off with the 5-seat, front-wheel drive ST grade, which costs $36,750 before on-road costs, and rises up to $52,990 before on-road costs for the 5-seat, all-wheel drive TL. This means the X-Trail range now has a slightly more expensive cost of entry than competitors like the Kia Sportage, Hyundai Tucson and GWM Havel H6, all of which ask under $35,000 before on-road costs for their base-spec variants. Sitting in the upper middle of the X-Trail lineup is the STL I'm testing here, which offers seven seats and all-wheel drive and is priced from $46,290 before on-road costs. Adding the third row to the STL grade costs an extra $3,100 before on-road costs, but that includes the addition of all-wheel drive, which you can't have in this grade in five-seat form. The addition of the ceramic gray premium paint shade on my test car also added an extra $735, bringing the total price to $51,061 drive away for a Melbourne postcode. Over and above the grade below, the STL adds synthetic leather trim, heated front seats, front parking sensors, dual-zone climate control, 18-inch alloy wheels up from 17-inch wheels on the ST, and privacy glass for the second row and rear windows. Pricing for this all-wheel drive, 7-seat variant is not entirely unreasonable when you consider what its key rivals charge for a similar specification grade. The Kia Sportage asks between $43,500 and $49,370 before on-road costs for its all-wheel drive, petrol-powered models, while the ever-popular Toyota R84 hybrid ranges from roughly $42,000 to over $55,000 for an all-wheel drive variant, though neither offers seven seats as an option. If you're looking for a seven-seater, the Mitsubishi Outlander offers three rows and all-wheel drive for between $40,990 and $51,490 before on-road costs. It doesn't take all that long behind the wheel of the new generation Nissan X-Trail to realize the Japanese carmaker has thrown everything and the kitchen sink at this vehicle for a crack at the podium in one of our country's hottest selling segments. Unless you've been living under a rock for the last 21 years, you've undoubtedly heard of the Nissan X-Trail or there's a good chance you're one of 282,000 customers who bought one. Indeed, my younger brother drove a second-gen version for years and swore by it. Either way, whether you owned an original T30 Gen or the most recent and kind of ugly T32 version, you may not immediately recognize the latest fourth-generation T33. Firstly, as a Nissan, and then as an X-Trail given its fresh approach to design, technology, packaging and materials, all of which have been leveled at this mid-size SUV from Japan. Like its smaller sibling, the new Qashqai, also about to drop here in Australia, the latest X-Trail is built on Nissan's latest CMFC platform that uses significantly more lightweight materials, yet delivers increased torsional stiffness for improved ride and handling characteristics. Most of the body panels are aluminium and there's more high-strength steel than ever before, while the suspension and steering have received noticeable upgrades that not only make this vehicle a far better driving experience but also delivers a greater towing capacity, 500 kilograms more than its predecessor. Inside, it's unrecognizable. Choose the higher grades and you get a cumulative 35.4 inches of big screen technology up front, including a 10.8-inch head-up display, the largest in-segment image size, Nissan tells us.